Ah oh, no, welcome back to the Valencia career mode and it's me, Adan, back again and today we are going to get into uh, this, well before we actually get into this uh, episode, I just want to mention, uh, I want to give my regards to all the people, all the, <coughs> all the people who are out in uh, Barcelona, obviously uh, recently they just got attacked from um, obviously a terrorist attack and I forgot to mention it um in my previous episode because I literally just thought about it and obviously and I you know playing Barcelona like three times and I should have mentioned it but um yeah you shouldn't we shouldn't see that in the world and then it's just it's just not right um so anyway let's let's just uh yeah so let's just skip ahead of that um let's go ahead into today's episode which is obviously finishing off the January transfer window, which we will be f playing the first game, uh, no, simming the first game against Celta Vigo, as we, oh, who's suspended? Oh, it's Santa Maria, in it. Uh, yeah, so let's start off this. Let's start off this uh, episode with a victory, hopefully, for Valencia. Would be nice, please. There we go, Mina with the goal. It's either, it's either Mina or Felipe Anson who scores. I thought that was our injury then, thank God. And then Jorginho scores, so there we go, 2-0. I'm very happy with that. Romagnoli's come on. Bacali's come on. And there we go, so there's full time. It's a great start, 2-0 victory. <laughs> we keep having 2-0 victories quite a lot recently. Uh, so yeah, great great start to the episode. So let's see if we have. I expect we do have an offer. Oh yeah, oh <coughs> oh yeah. I forgot to mention uh, simming up to this uh, to the Celta Vigo game. We actually completed the uh, uh, shout sales um, a, a shirt sales objective. That's the word. Uh, so yeah, so that's good. Uh, anyway, right, so let's get rid of that as well. So we got the January transfer window coming up. Um, we shall also hopefully do Bacali's last uh, training because he should go up to an 80. Has he gone up to an 80? He hasn't. Not yet. Not yet. He almost has. He almost has. <sighs> Maybe another week. <laughs> uh, right, so. Oh, Masakio. That wouldn't be too bad. How. How, what is uh, Masakio's approach to sign on? Ah, uh, 86. He's an 86. I would love him at our team. He can easily replace, um, what's his name? But we haven't got no money. We haven't got no money. <laughs> anyway, right, so yeah, let's go up to the Tranu Transfer window and get it all, get this all over and done with. We go, we do have a message as well uh, about leaving the club. I... Boss, even though I told you I would see my future, I want you to know I won't let them f Yeah, well, you're not leaving anywhere, Gaia, so I don't know why you are saying that. Um, so we got, well, Barcelona signed a couple of people. Carvalho, Fakir, blimey. And Signy went to Barcelona, uh, not Barcelona, Bayern Munich. Only 31 million being spent at the moment, there's another 20 million. Uh, there's another 10 million there's normally there's there will be a big one in a minute of what's about there we go harry kane 84 million to man united jesus christ then suit prayer went to uh chelsea as well 300 another signing 84 million for harry kane jesus <laughs> Right, keep going. I'm surprised we didn't get any um, offers, really. Right, so let's keep going. Yeah, see, look, Barcelona, they've signed 97 million play amount of players worth. They signed in the, in the ad show. Oh, there we go. So, Bacali's now an 80. Thank God for that. <laughs> so, we can finally, finally get um, Romagnoli into the training, training part and, you know, try and get him up to our first... Uh, team, uh, getting 
get him into our first team. That's the word. Uh, right, so anyway, we've got Villarreal, obviously, uh, coming up. So we shall go straight into that, which we will be playing. Uh, upcoming match. Why Why does he want to play the upcoming match? Uh, I don't know why. And also, quick question. Why do we have Villarreal? We have Villarreal twice. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, so we got Villarreal twice and then we got Barcelona and then uh, PSV. Oh god. <laughs> I knew we'd get Villarreal as well in the semi finals of the Copa del Rey. Um, should we go with the first team? Let's go with the first. Let's go with the second team then against Villarreal. We've got 10 points. It doesn't, doesn't matter if we win or lose. But I would not. Would It would be nice if we win. But. You never know with the second team. They are quite confident at the moment. They just beat Barcelona twice, so you never know. There we go. Mania scored. Great start to the game. Can we get... Oh, Soriano scored. Damn. Can we get that late goal? Or are we going to make a sub? Oh, Castello, Castello scored for them. 2-1 and uh, oh, there we go Villarreal have beaten us damn so there we go 2-1 loss against them that is not on that is not what we wanted press conference yeah let's quickly do that uh, Valencia let's praise we will play we will actually play with the first team this time because <laughs> Jesus we lost last time it's all Santa Bria's fault it's all Santa Bria's fault anyway Right, so now it is time for Romagnoli's uh, training. So let's see if he is. He isn't. He's almost an 82, so that's kind of good. Um, so Romagnoli, obviously, he wants the hard El Rondo. So let's do that. Um, let's do the uh, tackling as well. I want the stamina one as well. Can he not do the key possession? Oh, that's the one. Sweet. Beat your man. Let's get that. Uh, let's do short passing and whatever it's called. <coughs> Defending. No, you can't do that. Defending, short passing and vision. Yep, let's do El Rondo for that. Uh, let's do long passing as well because he's quite... He's, I don't know if I'm... Yeah, he's quite... I don't know if he's got that long passing trait or something like that. I think some... I don't know, one of our one of our players has it. Uh, long passing and crossing. Yep, he can do that as well. And he might as well do headers and volleys. Uh, heading at accuracy. So what will... That'll be finishing and power. He could do finishing. Trans creation. Yeah, he could do that. Head, or... Yeah. He's 79. It could be better. It could be better. Yeah, I'm going to do that one because obviously his attack positioning will be better as well. So let's do that one. And then let's simulate all. And hopefully he should go up to an 82. Hopefully. You never know. Oh, he da he hasn't. But he does picked up a couple. Oh, he picked up an F on the defending. <laughs> of, all of all things. Anyway, right. He's almost an 82. He's almost there. Right. We got Villarreal again, um, so the plan is to obviously play that game and then we've got a Barcelona after that, so let's get straight into that then. Hopefully, oh we've got a message, Cameroon, nope, thank you. So there we go, get rid of all this rubbish as well whilst we're here. Right, so there we go. So Villarreal at home, playing with the first team. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, that should that should be fine, I'm guessing. Jorginho's up to an 85 now. Jeez. Um, yeah, so let's play match then, shall we? Ah, oh, great through ball to Mina. Should be 1-0, and what a goal. That's 1-0. Great finish. From Santi Mina. What a play. Great link up play. Mata Akadi. Back to Mata. Mina in the striker. Great goal. I think we should, I think we should replace uh, Mina with uh, Akadi on that right wing. <laughs> it's Mina scoring the goals all of a sudden, not Akadi. But anyway, that's 1 0. 
puts it in. Our mistake by the keeper and it's Mina who puts it in. And that's 2-0. What's the keeper doing there? Bad mistake by the keeper. Why is he punching? Why is he punching it out for us? I think it's a sense showing goal. Great cross from uh, Felipe Anderson. Keeper decides to punch it and then you know we're right there the mean is right there with the like bicycle kick side bicycle kick and that's two goals for him so that's two nil oh Felipe Anderson this should be a goal for Felipe Anderson oh or not great block corner right Parejo with a corner Oh, that should be a goal, and it is. And that's Garay. Is it Garay? It should be Garay, yes. It's Garay, 3-0. Great corner, great finish. What a finish. What a goal. I, th I don't think Garay has scored for quite a while, actually, Garay. Has he even scored this uh, season? Oh, no, this is in the um, Copa del Rey, isn't it? So yeah, we won't find out. But anyway, Garay has got the goal, so there we go. 3-0. Oh, great through ball to Mina. Let's go all inside. Oh, still Mina. Santi Mina. Oh, what a finish to make his hat trick. Santi Mina. What a goal. 4-0. 90th minute. Convenient goal. <laughs> Got him with the fake shot as well. Got the defender with the fake shot. Just caught pass and then... Got that bit of a curl on it. Beats Asensio. And that's his hat trick. Great finish. 4 0. Great goals. And there we go. There's full time. And we have won the first leg. 4-0, uh, pretty much we dominated them, uh, you know, well, let's just say Santi Mina dominated them, and uh, yeah, he done pretty well, so yeah, not bad from the youngster, he gets the match ball, so great, great game, great first leg, and then, uh, yeah, as you can see, we pretty much dominated them in shots, and, well, well they had more possession, but, you know, possession means nothing. Uh, so anyway, so let's advance to our next game, which is Barcelona, Barcelona, in which we were actually going to stop here for today, uh, guys, as the episode has been on for quite a long time. Uh, quite, a, I normally, I normally like to keep my uh, videos up to like ten minutes or more. Um, so yeah, uh, but before that, um, I actually was going to try and do something. So press conference, uh, what was that? Let's just quickly praise Valencia. Uh, Madran wants to discuss his wages, so let's just quickly do that. So where are you, Madran? Uh, what am I doing? Transfers, contracts. Let's do Madran's contract. Where are you? Madran is one of the people that we need to do. Yeah, that's fine. 40k, that's fine for two years. He's an important first team player as well because he's uh, one of our main subs. So there we go, he can have that. Um, so as we've got a bit of money, and I did say, I did see that Musakio guy. Did he actually go uh, to uh, PSG? Wait, Moose, Moose, well, how do you spell Musacchio? Moose, there he is, Matteo Musacchio, 27. He didn't actually go. Now, oh, can I, I was going to say, joining Paris when his contract expires. Ah, see, that's what I was thinking. Maybe we should ha have a look and see what um, players are like, transfer status. We're not... Well, actually, let's just go on uh, Global Transfer Network and go on Instructions. Let's add an instruction. So let's go centre back and let's do first team quality. Oh no, it w we won't be able to do it, will we? Oh, damn, that's shit. Well, I, that that is shit. <laughs> I should have done that. I was like, you know. We could have done it. Uh, I think we could have. I think we could have signed him personally. But anyway, uh, 
I don't know. Uh, we'll look, we'll look, sort our like defense out in the summer anyway. In the, you know, in, in the next summer transfer window, anyway. So anyway, guys, I'm actually going to end it here for today. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you guys next time. So right, I'm going. Bye.